up and I smoked a little chai. <laughs> and I need to put in my contacts because I can't see shit. I have my coffee. I hope this audio doesn't suck because I have AirPods in and I don't know if they connected. If it doesn't, then great. I just had to like tell myself to grab my camera and like talk because I have barely really been vlogging. I've been posting more on TikTok and like I've been posting on Instagram where I'm trying to like pick that up again. And then I've been abandoning the vlog a little bit and I literally have a vlog to edit and post, which I have not done yet. And there's so much to catch you up on, but the main thing is that I have been learning to lash and today is going to be my second day going into the salon and practicing and I'm so excited because the past two days I've just been itching to go back and I will sit down and tell you more about this. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be today. It's going to be somewhere in this vlog. A lot is happening and I'm feeling so good you guys like I can't even explain how good. Come here. I cannot explain to you how good I've been feeling. I've been, I think it's been a good thing that I haven't been on camera much because I've really had the space to like do this, you know, in private. I don't know why I just stopped recording. Also, it's super dark. I need to turn on some lights. Um, I've just been feeling so fucking good and I don't want to abandon my YouTube, but it's just been a little much to like all balance i think i might be uploading a little bit less as i'm like trying to like navigate through this but i still want to really keep up with the vlog so i was like let me pick up this motherfucking camera oh my arm is already getting tired i was trying to make my bed but um okay let's see i think i want to be there at 10 30 and it's 8 right now i've already done my skincare and everything i've had a little smoke session this morning you know um i think i yeah i actually did tell you guys that earlier um let's see what i'm gonna do i also need to do the dishes so i'm gonna do that let me sit down for a second a lot is happening and i'm just feeling really really good i've been on my meds i've been right now i'm also like near my ovulation so i'm feeling even better period <laughs> it's always like the best part of my month but i'm feeling really good and i think i don't know i'm going through this whole thing like I feel like every time I make a video, I say that, but there's just more happening every single time I come back on here or like even if a few weeks go by and I haven't like filmed much or uploaded much and I come back and like there's so much I need to tell you. Um, but if you do want to see more of me, definitely follow my Instagram and TikTok because the short form videos are a bit easier for me to like do in between the things that I'm doing and I'm having a lot of fun with that. But I also definitely still want to continue doing these vlogs. Um, I just need to like find my flow in there. And obviously I am stubborn and I want to do everything myself, which means that I can't do as much or like produce as fast because obviously... I edit these myself. I film everything myself, like literally everything I you ever see from me, I do myself. But that's just like how I like it because I get to be creative and that's like my favorite thing. So he's just, I don't know what he's doing. I'm gonna have my little morning routine with Blue and then I'm gonna head to the salon. It's very gloomy, shitty weather, which is not nice. So probably we'll throw on a hat. I'm trying to cover my box. Okay, it's not really covering. <laughs> you could almost see it. I'm trying to cover my bald spot. And I'm probably going to bring like a headband and a claw clip. So I can put my hair up if I want. I'm so excited to lash today. Also, I did my nails yesterday. Well, I did one hand. And I've just been healing my inner child. Like doing nails. I started like practicing my own nails when I was like 15. But I was doing like acrylics. And it was really hard for me. And I had barely any money. So I bought like the cheapest stuff. And now I get to really like heal my inner child. By just literally learning how to do my nails perfectly. Like I'm so happy. I didn't do this hand. I'll leave that for another day. But yeah I filmed that. And I posted a TikTok. If you want to see it. I will just like check out my TikTok. I posted it. 
um because i did a nail vlog but i feel like with youtube it's like it takes so much work and time to post certain videos i don't know i feel like you guys love the vlogs the most so i feel like those are worth my time the most and then like every other video i do on like the podcast is like more so on the side because i don't really like make money from it or like barely any so it's like I make them because I think they're fun and then with the vlogs obviously I also think they're fun but they're also a bit more like is the word lucrative I don't know like you guys really love watching those so it's worth my time to like really put in the work and edit because a lot of you watch them um so definitely my focus is on the vlogs and then uh podcast episodes I don't think I'm gonna do every single week anymore but I will definitely do those maybe every other week I'm gonna try to keep up with that but I'm doing a lot of different things at once, girl, but I'm just really excited and I'm excited to be starting something new that is not on social media and that's just completely different from what I've been doing. Um, someone left a comment on my Instagram post and she was like, or it was a Reels that I posted and she was like, that this makes so much sense for me because I'm such an introvert and I get to just have like one-on-one -on -one communication with people and that's what i like the most you know i prefer that over like big crowds and big like events and stuff so i'm super excited to get into this and learn and i'm just like so geeked and if you live in the netherlands or in rotterdam or you i mean you can travel if you want and you can like get lashed by me like how fucking iconic like i think it'll be so fun and i'm like also really excited to like meet people that maybe have been following me and that obviously just want to get lashes done and then they want to come to me and it feels more real and i need that i need like real interaction um so yeah i'm just like really excited for this chapter and i'm taking you guys along period You want a bad one Well, baby, I'm as bad as they come Said you want a hot one yeah. You with the hottest under the sun But be careful what you wish for Make you eat your words If I'm more than what you bargain for Fun to flirt But promise to deliver Much is required Cause look at what I'm giving you we really ready for real <laughs> De doelen, oude luxe hotel. U kunt hier overstappen. Uit te checken. 
Hi babes, <laughs> I literally just woke up, so that's why I look like this. I just made myself some coffee. I've been working on a lot of things off camera. It's 7 a.m. right now. I will get back to you when I'm a little bit more awake. I'm just gonna drink my coffee and like wake up for a little bit. And I'm gonna take you through my day today. I have two lash clients. So I just went on a walk with Blue and I got myself ready. Um, I just did some emails that I had to work on and I'm gonna sit on the couch with Blue for like 20 minutes before I leave to the salon. I'm actually opening up by myself today. So yesterday I picked up the key and I'm gonna be opening up myself, which is exciting. Um, I have two clients, which is gonna be, both are Phil's. Um, I was like, let me take this moment to like, oh shit, why am I zooming in? I was like, let me take this moment to kind of update you on what's been going on. So I haven't been vlogging much and honestly, even though I miss you guys and I know you guys probably miss me too and you've been asking me like where the vlogs are, I think it's been really good for me to be able to work on some things offline and i really wanted to especially use this year to like try new things and i've just noticed that i really really enjoy having something outside of social media i don't know like it's just been really good for me like i feel like mentally i've been doing really really good recently part of that is probably because i haven't been filming as much um obviously i don't plan on stopping youtube but i will say that the uploads aren't going to be as much just because i obviously have started lashing now i have my certificate now i've been booking clients which is really great i am currently practicing with volume lashes so i can start doing those i think i'm also gonna do nails in a few months which is gonna be really nice i'll just be able to do everything in her salon which is gonna be like 
great um so that's kind of what i've been working on and i'm gonna continue to try to just take you guys along with everything but there might also just be weeks sometimes where i'm not filming as much just because i'm like living in the moment honestly like i just don't even think about picking up the camera but i think it's good and it's a healthy thing and um if you do want to see more of me or see like little bits of my days definitely make sure to follow me on my instagram and my tiktok because sometimes i post like little like mini vlogs on there because they're obviously a lot easier for me to film and edit and it doesn't take as much time while still being able to kind of show you guys what i've been up to so definitely also keep an eye out on my instagram and tiktok and just kind of switch between social platforms to see what i've been up to but um the goal is definitely to continue to do a vlog every single week so bear with me i'm just kind of trying to figure everything out but to be really honest with you like i've been so extremely happy and i definitely feel like i'm slowly moving towards like where i want to go which is just really great and i still really want to like start my brand and everything which i will but i think right now with lashing like i'm trying to just make sure that all of that is stable and both social media and lashing and all of that is kind of more sorted out and then i'll have money to invest into my brand which is going to be really exciting hopefully later on this year i mean as the time goes by i will just continue to work on the brand concept and designing and all of that like i don't really stop doing that but before it actually like launches and i'm able to like invest into everything it's going to take a little bit longer but i'm honestly just really excited about all the things i've been doing and i'm excited to start sharing everything with you but i think it was good for me to do some of these things off camera to be able to really just focus on me and the things i had to get done and honestly i was just like running around so there was like no time for me to pick up the camera i will um i'm not bringing my camera to the salon but i'm gonna use my phone to film parts of my appointment because i can just set up like my tripod and you guys can kind of see me lash so i'm gonna do that and basically just take you through my day um i'm selling some stuff in my studio and i think someone is coming to pick up my mirror today so i'm gonna do that after i finish my client i have about nine days left until i have my driver's exam so that's been my main focus as well i've been taking lessons twice a week again um, it's going really really well i have a lot more faith in me passing this time like driving now feels a lot more natural to me and i think because i've been like stabilized with my meds and everything i've been able to really like keep up with the progress that i was making so that's exciting hopefully in actually is it eight days now hopefully in eight days no nine days i'll be able to no eight five three, seven three eight eight days <laughs> Sorry, I was counting in my head. In eight days, I'll be able to walk away passing my exam and then I'll have so much more time as well. Like I won't have to like make time for driver's lessons twice a week. So I'll be able to lash more and I'll also probably be able to film more. I'll be able to pick up the podcast again. I think I'm going to work on planning some episodes now and then maybe a week or two weeks from now i'll be able to like pre-record a few episodes i do also have some fun sponsors coming up i'm working with a skincare brand that i'd already filmed for but i hadn't seen their guidelines and their script so it wasn't really what they were expecting so i have to refilm that um and then i also have a really fun like clothing brand that i'm working with so aside from my vlogs every now and then you'll probably see like a sponsored video with like a really fun brand that i can like get creative with and like you know i think that's really fun so yeah i think that's kind of the update um it's 9 12 right now i'm just gonna spend like 15 more minutes with blue on the couch just like cuddling for a little bit and giving him some attention and then I'm gonna get my stuff and head to the salon i'll be there a bit early my first client is at 11 but i want to get there a little bit early early so i can set up and um get myself ready and if i have time i might practice fanning for a little bit but yeah super excited if you are in rotterdam or you're in the area and you would like to get lashed by me i will put my instagram in the description where you can check out some of my work um as i get more clients i will continue to post more of my work um but i have a link in my bio on my lash page where you can book an appointment if you are interested and it also has the pricing on there so um, volume lashes will be coming soon as well i just have to like continue practicing for a little bit but as soon as i'm ready for that i'm excited because then i can do like hybrid sets and like really like get even more creative but so far it's been going really well i mean i've only been doing it for a few weeks and i feel like i'm naturally just like picking up the whole technique and everything so 
and it's been really peaceful for me like it's been so good for my mental so yeah anyways a lot of positive things i'm really excited hopefully this is another way for me to inspire you to chase your dreams i'm hoping to be able to bring back journaling in my vlogs as well soon i don't think it's going to be in this vlog just because i've a lot of journaling i've done i've just like obviously done off camera and i'm still working on designing my journal as well all of that is still a work in progress um but as the weeks go by i would try to like update you on everything and yeah just bear with me honestly like hop on the ride and see where we end up okay i hope you guys can see me because <laughs> i don't have like a viewfinder now but i'm at the salon i just turned on all the lights um i literally don't know what you can see right now let me actually check what your view is when i do this okay that's pretty good so I'm at the salon right now. I have about an hour before my client gets here. So I'm going to turn on some music. I'm going to just set up my things. I have to turn on another light. Let me see. There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to set up my stuff and get ready. Put on some music, like turn on a playlist and stuff. And then probably within an hour, my first client is going to be here. Let me set this up right here for a second. Um, so this is where I lash. Just to give you a little tour. And obviously because I'm by myself right now, I'm able to like ooh, actually talk to the camera. Usually I'm not by myself, so I don't expect to always be like vlogging when I'm over here. But I definitely want to try to like show you guys the work that I do on clients and stuff. So I think while I'm waiting, I'm gonna do some practicing. Um, on a mannequin because I have time anyways and I'm gonna practice some volume lashes or at least like fanning so this is a mannequin I've been working on here's my cart let me show you my cart so this is my cart it's not fully finished yet but this is what I have so far got most of my things on Amazon and everything else I got through my training and stuff but this is my little cart this is where i lash <laughs> let's see let's try i'm gonna try well, i'm gonna try an 11. not sure what you can see right now but i was practicing fanning for a little bit but honestly i'm still gonna struggling so i think i'm just gonna wait until gabby's back and we can like work on that together but I'm now going to tape in the lengths that I'm going to need for today. I think, let me check if she texted me. 8 to 11. Yeah, I'm just going to do 8 to 11 because that's what the clients need today. So I'm just going to take these, put them on my hand, and then tape them down. I hope no one ends up canceling because Feyenoord won the like, like championship so the city right now is insane because i think they're gonna get their trophy today what's going on with this one i think they're getting their trophy today so um it's gonna be like a hot mess in the city so hopefully my clients will be able to come and like don't have any struggles i'm gonna grab this one 